we start a new chapter called solutions. You have come across solutions while in class 9th or 10th, 9th, okay, NCRT class 9th you must have come across it. I do not know how much of you of it you remember, but this is how we had come to the point of solutions. Actually, we go back a little and first of all define what matter is. What is a matter? That, that occupies space and has mass. Anything that has mass and occupies space. That is called matter. Okay. Now, what are the types of matter? Matter could either be a pure substance or it could be a mixture. Okay. It could either be a pure substance or it could be a mixture. <coughs> What's a pure substance? What's a pure substance? which has a single type of <coughs> atom or one. okay so it also all elements they are they are pure substances for example iron it has got only fe 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 fe, FE. if they are made up of more than two atoms two or more than two atoms, then they always combine in a definite proportion. If they have more than one type of atom, those atoms combine in a definite composition, in a definite composition at all times, So, for example, H2O, all compounds that we know, H2O is, is a pure substance made up of two atoms, always combining in a definite proportion, say CO2, say CaSO4, fine. In contrast, the mixtures, the mixtures, may be made up of two or more than two substances which do not always combine in a definite proportion contain two <coughs> or more than two contain two or more than two Pure substances which do not combine in the same proportion at all times. Okay. So maybe you are preparing a lemonade, though 
you are in the habit of putting say two teaspoonful of sugar in in a glass of water but you may vary it you may make it more you may make it less fine now mixtures themselves can be divided into homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures okay they are homogeneous <clears throat> or heterogeneous mixtures okay now that homogeneous or heterogeneous mixtures can be in different states say for example a homogeneous mixture may be in the in in solid okay so we may be, we may be forming an alloy but what distinguishes a homogeneous mixture is that the composition of the composition of the components remains the same remains uniform throughout the bulk of the mixture throughout the bulk okay example so so before that wait and heterogeneous the composition is not uniform throughout the bulk composition why because it it is variable you understand why it is not a pure substance because it is variable no one stops you from adding more sugar to the same amount of water okay the composition is uniform but can be varied here for a particular substance say water whatever you do you will not be able to vary the the percentage of mass in which they combine okay so the composition is not uniform throughout the bulk hmm? now we had studied that that one of the homogeneous mixtures is solutions solutions okay what is a solution solution is what's the solution where the where is uniform throughout and whenever we talk of a solution we actually kind of start thinking that it is it is a liquid solution not always not always okay how about air is it a pure substance or a mixture Hmm? it is a mixture mixture of different gases though though here there could be a bit of confusion okay we are told that nitrogen is 78% and oxygen is 21% but you know these are variable that means if in this i come in this room i evacuate it or maybe i i pump in more oxygen it will become the the composition of oxygen goes up correct so it's not it is not it is not limited to 21% always no it can be varied though it is it is considered this and and we understand that there is co2 and humidity and suspended particles and and whatever okay so many things so so suddenly there is a dust storm here a uh, hell lot of suspended particulate matter will enter the air so it does not it does not say no more okay that's why this is a mixture 
दिस इज अ मिक्सचर एंड एंड इट इज अ होमोजेनस मिक्सचर ओके इट्स अ होमोजेनस मिक्सचर वी कैन ऑल्सो हैव अ सोल्यूशन सो वी हैव वी कैन हैव अ सोल्यूशन इन इन सॉलिड ओके वी कैन हैव सॉलिड सोल्यूशन लाइक लाइक अलॉयस वर्ड हाउ डू यू प्रिपेयर द अलॉयस वी we actually mix things when they are in a liquid state okay and then you uniformly mix it and then you let it solidify fine so that's why so example alloys okay here in this chapter when we say solutions we will be actually dealing with liquid solutions okay so here we will be dealing with liquid solutions and on top of that the solutions which are binary that means where it is made up of only two, only two things fine so so binary solution is binary solution is composed of two pure substances two pure substances that's called a binary solution <clears throat> okay in that the the thing that is present in the larger number okay the the substance present in the larger quantity is called a solvent so here well here i say that substance present in in larger quantity is called is called a solvent in larger quantity is called a solvent and substance present in smaller quantity is called a solute or is called a solute fine and in heterogeneous mixture we had again seen that we have colloids and then we had suspensions correct but these are not currently the subject matter of matter of our study this colloid will come in our fifth chapter and we'll do some extensive study into only colloids okay in surface chemistry fine so here in this chapter we are dealing with liquid binary solutions fine there have to be uh, there has to be a liquid solution and it has to be a a, a binary solution fine <clears throat> 